everyone. How's everyone doing today? Good. So today in science, we're going to be learning about determining independent and dependent variables. Now before we start, I have a song on the sheet in front of you that is going to help you remember both the variables. So I'm going to sing it first, and then we're all going to sing it together. Independent is my name, and the x-axis is my home. I change however I aim because I can be all alone. My name is dependent and the y-axis is where I live. I change due to independent. It could affect the measurements I give. Now you know we are elements so that you can design experiments. So we're all going to try together. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Independent is my name and the x-axis is my home. I change however I aim because I can be all alone. My name is dependent, and the y-axis is where I live. I change due to independent. It could affect the measurements I give. Now you know we are elements so that you can design experiments. So before we start talking about both variables, can anyone tell me what a variable is in science? Alana? An unknown quantity. That's a good guess. Is there any other any other guesses of what a variable is? No? So it can be an unknown quantity sometimes. Um, it is, will always be a factor that can affect your experiment. And sometimes it is an unknown quantity. So here we have two variables, independent and dependent variables. So based on the song, and also based just on the names, independent and dependent, which one do we think is affected by the other variable or can change because of the other one? Nishta? Um, dependent is the one that is affected by the other. That's correct. So this one is going to be affected. And then which one then would be the one causing the change? The independent. Yep, this one causes the change. So you can think of this as cause and effect. Now, when you design experiments, you as a scientist are going to be interacting with these variables. Now, one of these, you are going to be changing yourself. So knowing what we know already, which variable do we think is the one the scientist changes? Alana? The dependent. Why do you think it's dependent? Because it's being affected, so like, the scientist is affecting it? So this one's being affected by the independent variable. Is the scientist the one affecting it? I guess not. So which one do you think it is? The independent. Yep, this is the one we are changing. And so the dependent is the one we are going to measure and evaluate. So in front of you on the back of your sheet is a problem about monarch butterflies. A group of scientists are interested in studying the stages of life of monarch butterflies. They already know that milkweed leaves make up a caterpillar's diet and that a caterpillar needs to be large enough before forming a chrysalis to mature into a butterfly. They choose to study the effect of the amount of milkweed leaves a caterpillar eats a day on the length of time it takes a caterpillar to grow until it can form a chrysalis. Determine the independent and dependent variables of the study. So that was a lot of info, but the first thing you always want to do is identify your two variables. So can anyone read the line starting from they choose to study? I'll read that. Thank you, Hannah. They choose to study the effect of the amount of milkweed leaves a caterpillar eats a day on the length of time it takes a caterpillar to grow until it can form a chrysalis. So in that, they're telling you what they're studying. So what are the two variables we think are in the study? Milkweed leaves and time. Length of time. That's correct. So milkweed and time. And based on our chart, which one do we think is the independent? Nisha? Um, milkweed. Correct. This one is independent. And so time has to be what? The deep. The dependent. So in a word problem, you'll see effect of the amount of milkweed, so that tells you it's independent, or effect on shows you it's dependent. So just to recap before we move on to the graph, the independent variable is the one that causes an effect and changes. 
and dependent variable is one that's affected and you measure and evaluate.